right, folks. I'm gonna be um, gonna be continuing the city piece that I started um, last week. Uh, it's kind of ice, like pseudo isometric kind of style uh, city with like this uh, this like the road running through the middle of it. Um, we spent a lot of time last stream kind of figuring out like the the soul of the thing, what we're gonna draw, and, uh, and how it's all gonna work. And we chatted with Joe while we were doing it. It's pretty fun. But yeah, today um, we're gonna continue on that, poking around on it, and cleaning up. Yeah, some of the some of the shoddy line work. I was looking at it. Uh, and we'll just add some more details and stuff. Uh, there's definitely, I think, a few few elements to the whole thing are a little wonky that can get a little bit more or cleaned, a little bit more refined. Uh, just to show it off here. Like, um, yes, yeah, so where, where I left, we were kind of just putting some information and detail on top of some of these buildings. And I think in general, it feels a little empty. It's, it's especially strange here in this back. Uh, I think I'd like maybe it extend just a little bit further in this direction. And then maybe we'll put some clouds and stuff back here. And then, uh, and I'll keep adding some, some things on the sides of, of these buildings and such. Um, I, I quite like this gradient that's kind of became the, the theme of the whole thing. It's like a, it's a nice color. I think it, it suits it. And, um, yeah, I think it's pretty chill. Let's continue work, kind of working on it um, and drawing uh, just a few more, a few more bits. I think what I'll what I'll start with is um, continuing out just a little bit more into the background. I think I'll turn on the grid. So we're using like this this kind of different it's not quite isometric but we're using the isometric tool to uh, to kind of guide us help us help us along um let's make this a pink building let's fit this to plane um let's move this to the back and i think what i'll do here is maybe we'll just put like perhaps one of these buildings one over here just kind of behind this and we'll just have it go like just a little bit off screen here it, this was just kind of like a compositional kind of weirdness um i mean this road is just floating i guess we can just be okay with that we were we were chatting about that in the discord if that is weird or if it's okay it doesn't really bother me but It is a Zen road. This road floats. Um, but like the light is coming in from the, the side here. So I think, I think we should always pick out like kind of the lighter colors. Like this one's a bit weird. The, that color is there. Um, and we make this like a gradient. shades of purple here. This purple pink. Uh, and what this gives us is we can use both colors at the same time. You see, because it was a bit weird before where, here let me turn off the grid. Is there a control? Control plus. I need to use that more because I hate I hate the um, hate having to go into this menu. It annoys me. But just being able to, it's control and then one uh, quotation mark. Very nice. Um, yeah, it was bugging me over here that uh, this building had the same color as this. Um, and this line could be a little bit better. I'll just drag that up. Cool. 
cool. All right, so I already feeling better about that. Just having this thing kind of stretch out a little bit. And maybe I will uh, also just put like another one of these, these kind of style boxes over here. And with the isometric perspective, we can just kind of uh, resize these very, very easily. Um, and it's, it's nice. It's really quick. We'll just kind of keep it like that. And then let's maybe use let's put it whoops. Let's put the shadow kind of coming off back here. This uh, needs to be totally behind. Let's delete that. I don't love I think it should just always be that hard shadow. Is that right? I don't think it'd come out of this corner. I think it would come out of the, the opposite corner. Let's see like that. I was thinking we'd do maybe two of these. And like another one over here. This one would have the shadow kind of coming in even more. Really love playing with shadows. I think they're they're just fun. Let's put this over here. Since we got like a pretty cool like uh, color setup, we don't have to. We don't have to pick and change a lot. All right, looks a little weird. Should kind of be parallel, I think, within the... Looks a little distracting. Maybe we don't do too well. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. Let's just leave it like that. Let's leave it at one. Can't, can't leave it alone. One cool thing we can do as well, like if we want to move this around, since it's all in this isometric uh, form, we can just select all the points here. We can actually position it wherever we want onto the onto the object, and it just kind of plays it out, which is pretty cool. I quite like that as a as a thing. One thing I'm not a huge fan of is uh, kind of the, this deep shade of black. Hey, hey, Omero. Hey, man. It's good seeing you. Really, uh, we were we were chatting in the Discord a while back. We were a little, a little concerned because I mean we read on the news stuff going on where you were, but uh, it's so good to see you see you back. Yeah, I started this piece last week, uh, just kind of uh, toying around with uh, like a pseudo isometric perspective, doing something that's kind of uh, not entirely what uh, okay, it, it, I've just changed the ratios, um, but it's fun. It's kind of a weird perspective to play in and I've just kind of been drawing and adding some details to it today and um, just listen to some chill music might turn it down slightly hope you're doing well man though let's see here I think we should add some windows to uh, like some of these buildings over here and maybe we'll do the gradients on these like slightly differently or like maybe this one. I was kind of thinking like um, of a different way of doing the gradient because I want it to get kind of dark down here. One way we can do that uh, and make it kind of cool is um, first of all, let's convert all those to curves. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I think, a shape here, kind of like that. I'm just going to give this, uh, let's give this a fill. It doesn't really matter what the fill is, because uh, we're just going to use it for, for kind of shading. Um, yeah, we'll do it like that. So we're going to select all the ones it touches and use the pathfinder. We're just going to create this kind of uh, this intersection here. We'll do it for this one as well. I'll we'll just trim away the fat just using command C. Uh, and then what we're going to do here is, this is a little bad, this little, little guy. Let's, What we'll do here, that already looks kind of cool, but it's not quite what I wanted. Um, we'll make this kind of this uh, deeper blue color. And I think all these, let's just get rid of the strokes. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just remove the strokes in all of them. And I think this one, because uh, this is where we'll draw the line, I'll, I'll also include it in that color. And then I will remove the strokes for these. And also these. And this is where we'll start the next kind of batch. We'll go up to this one. Maybe we'll just go up to that. And then, uh, yeah, let's pick like a, like a purple color. Whoops. The on the stroke. use the gradient and we'll just make those kind of go up like that. These also all have the stroke now. Uh, so we gotta remove those. thinker you are could you give me like a like an example of that like what like what's something that you overthought what is that because i've outside of just like uh a couple instances you know just not having the uh of like you know, access to internet, but it's just something that I've chosen, you know, I've never really been faced with something like that where the government has shut down the internet, so I've, I don't even know quite how that works.
over here, what I'm going to do is, um, I think I'm just going to set up like a gradient where I, I pick maybe a color off of this, this gradient. Oops. Kind of want to just do some clouds kind of things here. It's looking a little bit too much like slime. I need to make them more rounded and bubbly. I think these need to be darker too. Like maybe further up here in the Hazy in the background. Maybe, maybe we even add like a mountain kind of thing. Oh. Oh man. Yeah. I, man, that that is that's just incredibly rough. Like, just be in that situation just from one day to the next. It's completely unexpected, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just. Did they did they turn it back on, or have you found like a new way of of like um, kind of contacting folks? All right, I'm gonna do a gradient on this as well. back there I'll do some more clouds over here and uh, I think we'll we'll have something together I like that maybe I don't know like do we do we put like some other like kind of more more interesting shapes kind of happening I, I, I'm feeling the vibe that I want to use something kind of like um have you seen this with like a grease pencil where there'll be like some very flat looking 3D objects uh, uh, in space. I don't know. And they all got turned back on. That's good to hear. That was, um, it was just super wild. I, I heard it about it uh, first in one of my, like a news podcast that I listened to uh, quite frequently and um, and they mentioned that Sudan was in in a uh, in the midst of a, of a coup and I was like I mean you're the only person I know uh, in, in Sudan so I was immediately like geez I hope I hope my man Omera is okay because like, that is just awful situation to be thrust into. Um, but it made me happy when I finally saw uh, you were able to write me. I was like, yeah. Thank God. Let's go transparent on that. I think I have a nut black transparent it's one thing i don't i mean i get it but i don't love it uh this kind of i think that's still not right can i Look like clouds, but they don't not look like clouds. <laughs> <laughs> 
so let's, let's just keep rolling with it. This kind of looks like a duck head repeatedly. I mean, I guess that's kind of fun that... Let's maybe go down with this. Okay, keep it like that. What is, what is the color here? Let's just match it directly. The color we're going for. That color right there. Zero percent. restaurant is. It's an amazing place. It's just, uh, the whole restaurant is just this lady's kitchen. She just makes the best food. Uh, but right next to it, a Sudanese restaurant opened. And one day we went to go have Thai food and she was closed. And so we're like, let's try the Sudanese place. And it is amazing. It's so good. And I don't know what it is on the, in the water on the street corner, but then just the food they crank out in the, between these two buildings is uh, just absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's cold. Yeah, it's not freezing, freezing. Uh, it's like seven degrees Celsius here right now. Uh, kind of rainy, and gray. It's not very nice weather. Uh, but wife and I went for a walk today and and got lunch and. Uh, I mean, we sat outside. We were had big coats on, but it, no, it's not like it's not frigid, but it's not warm either. Does it get quite cold? And. Sudan in the winter time. I assumed that it would not get super freezing. like um this probably needs like a little bit more detail to be kind of believable i want to do another uh ipad uh drawing stream because i've really i've kind of been trying to learn more about the program stream to get a little bit better at it um, and I've, I've been able to draw a few things lately so pretty happy with it 
I like these clouds. That really brings a, a piece of it together. I like that. I don't love uh, how the Pathfinder does this. I think I'm going to have to manually kind of adjust these. They really just don't do those, those lines super well. I think they're relatively easy to fix because you just kind of got to make them overlap a little bit cleaner. Then you can't really change the colors super easily. So it is very hot, like crazy, even in the winter. It's just not that much cold, cold. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would have imagined. Uh, sometimes places can be surprising. Um, yeah, no, it's cold here. Um, it's only going to get colder. I don't, I don't particularly like winter. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of, of really warm weather. I've always liked the heat a bit more, I think, than most folks. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Everyone's got their own little preference. I want to put like a sign on one of these buildings and like maybe this one, I don't know, and have like some neon kind of script or something. I wonder what it should say. Also wanted to add some vehicles on this road. The thing is to like draw them full size would be cool. Maybe we'll just have one like drawing, like driving in the middle of the road. shapes to start to like get the the feeling for how it should look so this will be the whole base of the car it's kind of a weird perspective i think i'm going to draw this if i draw this by hand it's not going to look super good because uh, i'm going to get the the perspective wrong but we'll work it out um okay so let's side of the palette like let's make it like silver you know something like this I'm in Germany yeah let's let's drag this part out so this is the roof of the car like this thing for my guides here let's uh let's make this black just for the sake of, of clarity it's a really tricky perspective this is gonna be difficult but that's fun i like challenge um okay so this is going to be kind of the back of the car we'll put like maybe like a like a I don't know, like a, like a wing on the back. Can I get this to line up? There it is. Uh, I think this is going to be, this is going to be funky. But we'll do it. Um, okay. here and 
this whole part will need to be extended. It's going to go up. I'm just going to add some points here just to be able to control the, the vectors. I think I'll just drag this out. This might be a terrible idea. I don't think this is going to work super well, but I don't know. Let's just see how it goes. Alright, we'll make this like a, a shade darker. So it'll be like on the side. Last year, um, there's a company that wants me to go with them to England, but things happen and it didn't work out. Oh, man. England's cool. Uh, it rains there a ton, but uh, my wife and I were just talking about maybe doing another, another UK trip because we haven't been in a while. We have some friends there. We want to visit for, for quite a bit. Like if, if that kind of opportunity works out, like I think, I think you would probably really, really enjoy it. Was it in London or was it uh, in different, different city entirely? One problem with this perspective is things really don't match up super well. We're just gonna do like this caricature of this car. out. Like, see, this part doesn't even line up anymore. So we're just going to keep making it up. I don't know, it might look like a sports car in the end. We'll see. This is my guide for how long it's going to be. Well, I need to make it slightly longer, but yeah, the English accent's great, isn't it? No, they, they do speak great. It's, uh, I also really enjoy it. We, uh, last stream I was talking to, to Mike, Mike's from the UK and we were, I was just I was making fun of him, but I was just, uh, cracking some little jokes just talking about how uh, the English have so many funny words for describing if you are drunk and uh, it just really cracks me up we had, we had some good laughs about that okay so we got this uh, this kind of thing brewing here let's maybe Give this like a window. Oops. Off to the side like that. Now I'm thinking we just put like a little hood and then we put some wheels and then we can call it like a, a thing. Let's go and put some wheels on just the side so we can see kind of how they're gonna look. This will help kind of guide us. We'll put it like that maybe. And we'll put the other one Just bear with me uh, as we go. Um, I'm just 
gonna start kind of formulating this, kind of building out this shape. It's a fun caricature of a car. Uh, it'll look good once I add some details of it. You want to go and see uh, old uh, old car you love, uh, but you don't know how to drive. Oh, you don't know how to drive. Yeah. Um, I quite uh, really, really love driving. I don't... Oh, I think we'll do it like this. And then let's use the cornering tool again get some like cool angles here um 
yeah i i really love driving uh but i also hate driving i don't know like uh, when i w used to drive every day uh i couldn't stand it um got so tired of it but now that i don't drive every day uh i'm like yeah it's fun so i don't know so it's, it's a weird weird kind of thing It definitely looks like a caricature of a car. This window is just so huge. I think it's also just this weird perspective, you know? See the other side. That's fine. Let's uh, let's give it a few a few details. Let's also make the the wheels a little cooler. So I'll just duplicate this shape. And uh, I don't know. For wheels, I was like kind of just doing one of one of these numbers. So what I'll do is let's take the triangle tool and I'll just fit it into the plane. Ooh, this is nice. Um, but if it's symmetrical, let's see if I have it pointing, whoops, but pointing like that, then we fit it to the plane. Okay. Yeah, we can work with this shape. And then rotate. Yeah, perfect. Rotate. Perfect. Then I think what I'll do for each of these, if I can just select them. Uh, we'll use the cornering tool and we'll just make. Wait, can I select all those? We'll just select all these. <laughs> Looks like a Hot Wheels car, right? I kind of like that about it, though. It looks like a fun toy car. Can I just... Uh, I don't think this is actually, pers from a perspective, perspective, uh, very correct, but I just kind of want to make it so they're not all the same. I think it's fine. Especially when we're zoomed out. Uh, so let's do the rest of the wheel. Uh, we'll give it like big old wide tires. Um, so maybe we go just slightly lighter on those. So there's like a difference. Big old, big old wide tires, and we'll just use that shape again over here. Perfect. Coach always said, "Work smarter, not harder." Maybe, maybe we don't make this one so wide in the front since it's uh. out slightly and let's give it like a let's give it like a shadow something kind of like this Drawing skills are really 
not as good as like let's say you like yours i mean i'm kind of just not that good at uh drawing with my own two hands so i use i use this uh this vector stuff as a crutch But I, I do I do some sketching. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All right, this car is ridiculous looking, but I love it. It it looks exactly exactly like I wanted it to look. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna group that and we'll move it to the front. Uh, and I'm just gonna add a few more details on it while I'm at it. Uh, let's like give it some cool tail lights. Let's maybe just pick out some colors we have in the palette already. And, um, and let's give it like a, an exhaust pipe. stuff one of the uh, this is totally Oswald's car I love it. it kind of reminds me of a kind of like a Nissan skyline kind of reminds me like that like the the old school like kind of reminds me of this but this looks way cooler. <laughs> I love the Nissan Skyline, like the old ones uh, from like the 90s. They were, they were awesome. Always wanted one of these cars. Back when I was, uh, I used to love people would like soup up their street racing cars and stuff like that. Now I'm not that much into it, but I loved it back then. Way back in the day. Yeah, this is like the arrow that I wanted. Anyway, uh, Nissan Skylights, everybody. This top is just huge. <laughs> things too. These are great. Yeah, like one of these. Yeah, kind of like the, uh, uh, what were these called? The NSX? Yeah, the Honda NSX. Also, like a crazy cool car. The old ones. Yeah. 
those are cool. Love those. That era was was amazing. I had a uh, I had a Honda Prelude. <laughs> I had uh, mine actually looked kind of similar to this, but with without the black. Uh, it actually looked a lot like this. No, it didn't. I, I had different headlights. I had headlights like this. I loved the Honda Prelude. That was like, yeah, it looked like this in the front. It was such a good car. I was just talking about it today. Actually, this looked almost exactly like how mine looked. It was red like this. I had black rims and uh, had a sunroof. Yeah, that was a great car. Super good. Very, very snappy. Very fun. Yeah. Uh, but this is a, a comical showing for a car. Um, I'm just going to make this maybe a little bit more. Yeah, let's just roll with it. <laughs> let's see where this piece goes. If we keep adding some stuff. I mean, this one looks ridiculous. Like, absolutely bonkers. But I love, I love having the, uh, the wing on the back. The wing, the wing makes it. A Mini Cooper Roadster. Ooh. Always had a soft spot for minis. They're great. I, uh, I also had, like, um, way back in the day, before I had the Prelude, I used to drive a really old uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Like the, um, a 1969 Volkswagen Beetle. And that thing was just, just great. I loved it. super fun car to drive it wasn't the best uh commuter vehicle that i needed uh so i ended up eventually selling it and going going with the prelude but that car was really fun to drive but i i once uh got the feedback some, from some friends because <laughs> I mean the car like I don't know if you know how how those those cars work these older cars but um, like you you kind of smell like a machine after you operate them because the way the way they work uh, like the heating it uses the engine to heat the car so like uh, the pipes for the heater run across the car to the to the to the motor and uh, Make that a bit thicker and they uh yeah one of my friends is like yeah you do always smell uh like gasoline <laughs> uh yeah this is this is what i drove mine didn't have a sunroof uh but it was that color it, was, it actually looked a lot like this Without the sunroof. Are we closer to this? I didn't have these green things. I don't know, it was like this kind of tan color. Um, great, great fun car. They're really cool. But the, uh, yeah, I had this big old steering. This is exactly what mine looked like on the inside. Uh, this big speedometer. I didn't use the steering wheel, I used a smaller steering wheel, uh, like, a, like, a, like a sport roadster one. Yeah, I look closer to that, but yeah, really fun. Yeah, the, the way, the way they, I don't know if I'm going to find this. Yeah, actually, this is exactly the way mine looked. Like identical, 
But the cool thing is, like my favorite uh, detail about my beetle that I had, uh, and the reason I thought it was so great, uh, was that um, so they made they made the Volkswagen Beetle in two places in the world. They made them in Germany and they made them in Mexico. And the Beetles were otherwise uh, were mostly identical, except for the ones made in Mexico uh, after I think it was uh, uh, 68. I want to say um, they changed something because. Uh, the roads are slightly different in the US so people have to drive longer different distances and so um, they changed the way the fourth gear works so that it has like a wider uh, range and so you can actually get up to a higher top speed and they were like super sought after uh, the California transmission beetles and I have one of those and that was also like a point of pride it was, a, it was one of the good ones before they, they stop doing it. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I can make this slightly nicer by making it more narrow. That's a little bit cooler, I think. It's a little bit more narrow. I like that. All right, cool. That's enough of uh, <laughs> toying with the little car. Let's uh, let's add some other stuff, and then we'll continue. Let's see. So we added the clouds. The clouds look great. We added this dumb little car. Let's add a few more things in the buildings. Um, yeah, I think that's how I wanted that. about the Mini Cooper? What kind of animation are you thinking? parking garage uh that was like like one of these like you know how you drive in like a spiral to get up to the other l layers uh so like the car was actually stationary in the in the example and he had this like corkscrew like 3d object that he rendered and it like rotated around and the car was just in place so it kind of looked like it was driving up this corkscrew forever it was really cool uh i liked it a lot I don't think he ever really finished it. It still looked kind of, kind of basic. I think he was like testing something, but I was like, oh, that's a cool animation. So the big question is, do I put legs on this, uh, on this freeway or do we just let it hover? Part of me just wants to let it hover, but Part of me also thinks that making it have these big old leg 
this could could be kind of nice. Uh, let's do a few more. These will simply start getting into perspective. This one can be black. Go up to curves. Send it down. an animator in Russia and we plan to make a short animation every month and everyone gives their brief. Oh, that's awesome. So you, you guys send each other, like, he picks one and you pick one and, wait, no, he picks one you have to do and then uh, you pick one he has to do. That's a cool idea. That's a great, uh, it's a great kind of way to like stay motivated and interested in stuff. started yet? Gave you a crazy brief. <laughs> what's, all right, what's your brief? <laughs> you gotta share it. It's a crazy brief. And what's yours for him? I want to hear it.
How'd you guys meet each other as well? Cycle animation of humanoid in cartoony style about fencing in amusement park. <laughs> Wait, okay. Cycle animation of humanoid in cartoony style about fencing in amusement park. Nice. That's a lot to unpack. How long? How long does each an animation need to be? Okay, this building's a little weird because I drew it differently. So we're gonna have to skew it, I think. It's a little bit, a little bit wonky, a little bit weird, but it's okay. fencing animation but fencing is cool like you could do so much stuff with that three to ten seconds so like what comes to my mind all right is like if it's an amusement park it's it's got to be a roller coaster and I just see like, uh, maybe it's like the frame. Like I want to see like, I would say, so looking at it from the perspective of like someone at the front of the roller coaster, looking back after it has already gone over the tip. All right. So it's already going down and they're looking back and there's somebody with like a fencing, uh, sword, like doing a backflip, like as it's going down like I, I don't know that's that's what i i gets all matrixy on me that's what it, <laughs> that's what i would do does that make any sense <laughs> make this slightly more narrow this is so big hey commandante do you prefer commandante or rat or is it is it a package is it commandante rat is that is that how that goes? You prefer rat. All right, there it is. How you doing, rat? That crazy. <laughs> Yeah, all right, it is. But you don't have to do any cuts, like at least what I'm imagining. Like it's just here, we're just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sketch this really quickly in vector. Alright. Okay. So what I'm what I'm imagining is like we see like this is the, the car, the the seat directly in front of us. Uh, here we're gonna give these. This is gonna be just a really rough sketch. Um that's the one behind it. That one needs to be slightly bigger. Um, you get the idea. And so we're like looking back. And we you could like have some like clouds like in the background over here, you know? Like whatever. And then you have your, your uh, fencing dude, you know? Right here. And he's like doing his backflip like in the three frames and, and you could have these things kind of like kind of wiggle and you could have like uh, anime like uh like air zipping by i know it's, i'm just like it's looking like slime at this point but that's like your your scene wouldn't have to change you could just kind of wiggle the elements i just now really want to see this and so you have to do it <laughs> uh, you got a nickname during high school, Rat, not Commandante. Uh, so you leveled up yourself, gave yourself a promotion. You're like, if I'm gonna take on this nickname of Rat. Is there a story behind the Rat nickname? Oh, 
I was going to put something up here. So I was thinking, um, I don't, I don't want to, uh, quarterback your, your idea. You do. I'm sure you'll come up with something amazing. That was just the first thing that popped into my head. a font together with this. I was just going through some fonts yesterday because there's a couple um, there's a couple I'm kind of addicted to right now. One is called uh, Margin. Margin is just so cool. This is such a fun font. I love it. Yeah, just let me know, man. I, I would love to see it. Let's put, let's illuminate this thing. The bizarre, but the cool, the cool thing about this uh, margin font is it has so many ligatures. Uh, like the, the way you can connect letters. Like check this out, like it has like this way you can like hook in the Z's, which is kind of neat. You can hook in the Z to the A, that's kind of weird. Uh, as an alternate eye, like these, these, these don't necessarily hook in well together, Ooh, but I like this P let's go with this, this funky P. Give me the bizarre. But I think we need to maybe just give it a little bit of letter spacing. No, that's not the thing I'm looking for. Uh, this is the pizza store up here and so I want to play with this thing up here let's um, let's make it glow let's make this whole thing like a let's make it a thing showing up. The oh, I didn't give it a stroke. I don't do it. to do the uh, the animation each month so we'll give it like a a wild glow on the thing and then what I'll do is where is it turn this on and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of trace out this and can I copy effects is that a thing edit copy so 
So there's paste effects. Apple. Alt Shift V. So if I do Alt Shift C, is that a thing? Alt Shift V, does that do it? Just seems like weird that you give the option to paste uh, effects, but you don't give the option to copy the effects. Seems like a, like a bug. Wait, maybe if I just copy that and then I can do Alt Shift V, is that a thing? That is also not a thing. I don't get it. in the neon thing here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've done it before and it's been a little bit nicer. Alt Shift V. It just doesn't doesn't do anything. I don't really cartoon effect what is the um what is the uh what's the definition of that does that just mean it's hand drawn or does that need mean it needs to not be realistic like what is what's the dealio there Also put like a like a neon pizza. It's like hanging off to the side here. I think we do. How do we do this? I think we. I think I'll just do like a stroke. We give this an outer glow. Let me 
we have like put some salami bits on it. great is it just because the background it's the background it's got to be the background maybe if it's over here salami on the pizza. How does one make it equal yet random? Kind of looks like a pizza thing. We're going to roll with it. He's crazy, dude. He just set the cartoon and I asked him what style and he was like, whatever you want. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. Well, um, yeah, then you could do some cool stuff. What else is, what else is at amusement parks? 
it's not just roller coasters it's also uh oh uh, there's like bumper cars usually you know bumper cars uh so it's like these like uh like little tiny cars that don't go very fast that have like rubber uh outsides and you basically just go into an arena and just bump into each other it's not that fun uh but when you're a kid you get to drive a, a thing and it's very fun but you could do something like that where it's like a bumper cars and they they like hit each other and then they get launched out of it and then start fencing midair uh but you could like stop right as they hit each other like they get launched out and then cheek. that could be kind of cool i think um like you could do like some anime styles like it zooms in like <laughs> Um, pizza tower over here. I think it needs, like, this would need, like, a, an inside color, too, right? If I copied this and went in, we flip that. Oh, that's a weird bug. Oh, that's a super weird bug. Check that out. I have this shape. I copied it. I resized it, but it doesn't switch the colors. It just changes it to a completely different color. That's weird. I would not have expected that to happen. And what's wrong with my shapes? If I swap that. You guys see that? Like my tool is totally jacked. Hold up, I'm gonna restart Infinity. Um Affinity is super freaked out. Pripyat. That's a uh, extra points for being Russian. It's still bugging out. What is going on here? All right, I make a shape. I give it a color. I swap those colors. So if I give it a color, it swaps. Okay, good to know. Um. Okay. So we give it that. We swap it. that are like big like that but it does make it look more like a pizza i think maybe not let's just roll with it i spend this whole stream just working on a pizza i'll never forgive myself all right we got our need for speed we got our car we got the pizza signage the big ball here. What else do we add? So like an amusement park is like um it's kind of just these parks that have like rides and stuff on them so like there's like roller coasters or there's like these weird rides where you just get strapped to this thing and it spins or like there's these things where it's just like jumping around and yeah where it like spins people in the air and you're just like kind of screaming and i see these parks that have all there's like normally like a water park section um yeah, there's almost always like a Ferris wheel or like a roller coaster. And uh, they just, they kind of have these things. 
So, I mean, in my mind, uh, when you said amusement park, that's why I immediately went to like the roller coaster um, idea, because that to me is like the, the peak, the peak thing. But yeah. Um, It's a vintage amusement park. Wonderland. Never heard of a vintage. I mean, I guess. It's pretty weird. Kind of cool. Also kind of weird. I haven't been on like a roller coaster in a really long time. But I do, um, I do love old, like wooden... They don't have to be old. <laughs> they can be new. <laughs> but uh, wooden uh, roller coasters are super fun as well. This looks insane. <laughs> Is there another word for it? Um, theme park, maybe? But theme parks are also more like they have like a theme so it, yeah it's more like disneyland is a theme park or like universal studios is a theme park um, i don't know page for it let's look at it various attractions rides and games modern oh thanks modern amusement parks the golden age of amusement parks we can really get into this <laughs> all right what are you today walt disney resort universal studios six flags yeah six flags is like a really popular one in the u.s they have like really big parks um, what is this? Does it blow up every yard? That's that's what. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's <laughs> just people screaming at kids. I mean, yeah. I mean, the they're fun. I mean, it's um. I mean, I haven't been to one in ages, but yeah, you, you just kind of go on these rides, you wait forever in line. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. There are a lot of kids usually, but um, I don't know. I do have a soft spot in my, in my heart for remembering sometimes as a kid, you know, when we get to go to these... Uh, these parks there was there was one near where i grew up called uh carowinds i think it was called yeah so this is this is an amusement park like kind of near where i lived it had a bunch of really cool roller coasters they had this one like really cool wooden one uh they had one where you stand up they had one where you're like dangling and uh that one's fun good times was almost my childhood. Hated this ride. This ride sucked. Um, yeah, they have this ride, Top Gun. This is probably the best one. This one's really cool. You're you're like hanging. Has all these loop de loops. The coolest part about this one, can't really see it from here, from that perspective. But he's he's huge. There's so many photographs of stuff online. It's amazing to me. Hey, Daniel. It's good, man. But it's not fun to watch. Yeah, no, I don't think it's that fun to watch. Uh, if you're not participating, I think it's pretty boring. Uh, I wouldn't... Uh, I don't think I would do that. Um, you were never at the 
amusement park. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've been to, I went to Disney, what's the one in California, Disneyland? Yeah, I went to Disneyland once, twice, and I've been to that, like, Carowinds one. I haven't been to that many, but yeah, roller coasters are cool. Uh, you'll, you'll scream and laugh and it's fun. Cause you're always doing. Yeah. I mean, so the rides that I, uh, would never ride are these that, um, uh, yeah, it's these like scream towers. It's these towers that like you go up and then they just drop and so you just feel like you're free falling and they're like really high up uh, and I, I do not like those um, cool to watch a video of this oh yeah we got some nice old video footage here from like a flip phone Fed. Okay, so this thing goes up. It goes up. It just keeps going. <laughs> it pulls these people up here. Here we go. It's just gonna release them. These people are gonna scream. Is it time to the music? Is it gonna drop right when they scream? Oh, come on, do it. <laughs> yeah, it just makes you sit up there for a while. <laughs> the tension. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't I don't mess with that. Yeah, I didn't I, I didn't like those. Yeah. These people look like they just had a near death experience. <laughs> yeah, nah. I don't do those. But I like roller coasters a lot. Yeah, that stuff's scary. But I mean, people love it. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's funny. Roller coasters are very fun. Not gonna lie. This, uh, this documentary I've been wanting to watch uh, I think it's called um, uh, um, class so the it's about this 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 plate call called action park and it was this amusement park um, somewhere in the US and it was like the Wikipedia page on it is hilarious because it is there have been so many problems with it uh, like people have died and it's just uh, I mean it's not funny that people have died it's funny just uh, the amount of chaos and things they've had to uh, to fix and there's a documentary about it um, called Class Action Park I think it's called because it's about this lawsuit that's held against it. I've been wanting to watch it um, because it just sounds like this uh, just insanity Yeah, it's it's totally it's the build up. Yeah. It's this it's this building towards uh something you know it's gonna freak you out. And uh it finally finally blows up. About near scares you to death. I've been um, I've been playing some of the new Halo uh, Infinite uh, multiplayer beta. That's quite fun. Big fan of that. Uh, I really like that you can make uh, 
big like parties and like groups like uh, yesterday i had got my brothers together and some f- friends and we had like we had like 11 people in a party or something like that and it was uh i was like it's no way it's gonna let us queue and it, it totally did and so it was really fun to be able to, to queue in such a big group and um i never been amazing at halo but it feels good to console noobs it's very fun because you can it has a cross platform multiplayer very fun um what else do we add to this what else do we what else do we play with we could add another car over here in the distance Yes, Daniel, you wish to speak with me? Like, this one we can maybe get away with because uh, the perspective is a little goofy. Let's see, it would be something... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sketch out the, the shape of it. Kind of what I'm imagining. Can I... can I get this? Cursed, cursed line. your opinion world uh, was created what do you mean by that do you mean like my how my world view was formed is that is that what you mean by that like how to how would I kind of believe what I believe in is that is that what you mean Play uh, Call of Duty at high level and mobile and PC, but you quit for art. Man, you're living. You're the you're the true spirit. I'm still. Uh, I think gaming is still one of my my favorite hobbies. I still just like to to, uh, to play, hang out, and. Uh, What is with these, some of these shapes that just refuse to get colors? It's very weird. All right, let's, uh, let's use the cornering tool. something here. Let's just kind of let's clean up some of these edges. Some lag there. 
Are we, are we still here? You go science for art, you have to leave some things behind. What kind of, what kind of art do you do, Rat? Hey, Audrey. What's good? It's been a hot minute. How you doing? Good seeing you. Let's see here. Let's just kind of get this this formation in place. I'm just gonna work with some some of these kind of rudimentary colors here until I get the shape of the whole car down. Using this cornering tool, it's paying dividends here. Oops. Yeah, this stuff's really CPU intensive, though. The uh, the cornering stuff, I can really, I can tell that it's kind of struggling. You write mostly. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, like uh, like fiction, nonfiction, or movie reviews. What kind of stuff do you write? Jobs keeps you at work on Sundays. No. Well, uh, well, Audrey, I'll just catch you up. So I started, I started this piece last week, and I've just kind of been drawing on it a little bit uh, while just chatting with folks. Did I beat Sable? No, I haven't played Sable uh, in a bit. I. Uh, it's weird. I really like the game, but I got kind of bored of it. Uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to finish it. I just uh, put it on the back burner for a bit. I'll, I'll pick it up again. Have you been playing anything lately? Just using the shape just to kind of flow. Speculative fiction. What, um... Alright, so what is... Uh, help me out. So speculative fiction, does that mean that you... Um... You sort of deal in, in, in sort of the what-ifs of, of history or, or things? Like, uh, you know, what if... What if a, a modern day combatant was sent back to the Battle of Thermopylae? You know, just saying like, uh, what what would happen? You know, just again, that's a terrible example. Don't write that, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Is that a, a fair uh, assessment of of the kind of st of what that means? I think it's. I think that's cool as hell. Writing is hard. Uh, I've I've talked a lot uh, about some of the writing projects I have, and they have gone nowhere because writing is hard. I'm not good at it. it takes a lot of time. Does this look correct in perspective? It doesn't look incorrect, but it doesn't look correct either. Uh, let me catch up. Uh, fantasy sci-fi, weird, new weird. It's basically everything that you create from your imagination. I like that. Daniel, I missed your message. Uh, world, aka galaxy, universe, and stuff. So you're asking me, how do I think the world was created? Uh, um, that's poof. That's deep. Um, um, 
how do I think the world was created? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's probably, I mean, the best theory we have right now is the theory of the Big Bang. It's how the universe came to be as we know it. But, um, I don't know, for a long time, I kind of held the belief that, uh, you know, there was probably, or there was at least the possibility of there being, you know, some power out there, you know, that could have created all this, got it going. But, I don't know, personally, like, the older I get, the longer I go with it, the, the more I'm inclined to think that the universe is very random. But who knows, maybe it's all a simulation and we're just all just pawns in a game. But, I don't know, that's... There's a lot we can't know, so, I mean, if people, you know, if you, if you think there's a, there's a god that created all of it and kicked everything off, then I have no evidence to tell you otherwise. So, I don't know. Um, Audrey, you've been playing Neo for the past month. We know they work in school. What is Neo? Have we talked about Neo? Oh yeah, we did talk about Neo. You showed me Neo. Neo looked dope. Um, you suck at time management. Sorry. Do you remember the project that told you about the imposter syndrome? And I didn't write anything? <laughs> Yeah, I do remember that project. That was uh, that was shaping up to sound like a, a great project. Yeah, writing is tough. Have you? Uh, I don't. I don't mean to put you on the spot there, Rat. Um, uh, and I, I don't. Uh, but like, have you have you published anything? I don't mean that as a like a like as a test of how good you are or anything. I'm just wondering, like, is there anything we could read that you've made, like uh, like. wasn't meant to, to be. To be shade. Yeah. The thing is, like, it, I, like, I, like, the project, at least, that I've been working on, or I, I stopped working on, but the, I, I started, like, I was really interested in just kind of writing some dialogue, and so I was just, like, having these characters, like, talk to each other, and, and it's one of those things, like, when you're, when you're watching, like, a, like a, you know, like a great film or something, it doesn't seem that difficult to, you know, have characters that speak naturally, and, but as soon as, like, you're trying to, to draw it yourself, you're just like, my god, my characters sound like fools. How do I, how do I fix this? It's really hard. thing. All cars in this universe have the same wheels. That's just how it works. You ride in Hungarian. thing you're working towards that's huge that's important to have i think yeah like for me like art and illustration stuff i mean i i do some of it professionally but it's it's not really my main thing uh like i do a lot of other like 
more technical design work. It's like my kind of uh, my main gig for work. But uh, I want to have like the headlights on these. Did you guys remember when cars used to do this? I was just talking about this earlier, uh, about how I just kind of missed that because I thought that was so cool when I was a kid. That cars had headlights that jumped up like that. Let's uh, just fix this here. Yeah, they all look like Hot Wheel cars, these, these cars. I think this was just a little bit long. I kind of want to just do some surgery and just cut it down. We're gonna do some emergency surgery here, people. This is not to be tried at home. Do not try this at home, kids. See? That's the 90s. It's considered a safety hazard. Yeah, because it's like your lights just might not come up. Yeah, they probably shouldn't come back, but they were cool, man. For that brief moment in the 90s, we were flying high. And I'm also going to put like a, I think a wing on this one because, because I can. Oops. safety hazard aspect of, of, of wings. I don't think they were, or of, uh, pop-up headlights. It's like, sir, there's a reason these don't show up anymore. Also, sir, this is a Wendy's. This thing looks... whole perspective back here is a little, a little goofy. We can do better, folks. Just kind of eyeballing the perspective and boy, are we, are we paying the price for that? Boy, are we paying the price. Yeah, it looks goofy as hell, but it's way out there, so it doesn't matter. Um, all right, let's put down like a little shadow. Let's do something like this. And we'll make it like that color. Just give all these kind of like some rounded, rounded corners. line from a song that explains your life. Ooh, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I don't know if I have a quote or a line from a song. All right, man. Dude, go take it easy. I think I'm going to be wrapping up soon as well. Um, 
it was good chatting with you. I'm so glad uh, you're back online and that you're doing well. And uh, I can't wait to see what animation you cook up. Go have a have a good evening, man. Thanks for uh, for spending some time with me. All right, I think I just want to give this one just a little bit of love here. Just give it like this big old fat stroke here. No, um, I'm just gonna adjust this slightly. Just give it some lines. Maybe we even uh, go something more like this. And we didn't really draw these on the others, but I think it fits to have it on this one. Just kind of looks nice. Uh, your favorite quote describes my life is kind of dark. Ooh, edgy. Uh, I zoom into darkness, embracing the shadows as my home. Yeah, I can't say that. That explains anything for me in my personal life. But it's important to have uh, something that helps you make sense of the world. Oh, that's better. All right, so we got two cars on this, uh, this big old pizza land here that we've built. Um, I read it. I read it. No worries, man. Um, yeah, I think things things look look, look uh, pretty cool here. I think this is a good stopping point in terms of like stuff to add. I don't really have a ton of other uh, details that I think. Uh, we could add stuff on top of the buildings and such, but I think it's a it's a decent place to, to kind of end. I don't love the, um, whoops. <laughs> Just gonna group him, uh, bring him to the front. Um, I think in terms of a project, like it's pretty cool. I don't love the other isometric, like uh, kind of how I shifted the perspective to be non uh, precisely isometric. It's kind of something else. Uh, it's very difficult to work with. It's very difficult to draw in. Uh, I made it way harder than I needed to be, but it is a cool perspective. Um, yeah, it's the it's those fluffy uh, pizza clouds in the background. I really hate this car. He just doesn't look like he fits. Like it really bothers me. Like something in the perspective is weird and I don't know what it is. I could continue playing with him, but then this would just be, I don't know, I don't know. This guy I love because he's so goofy. Maybe that I didn't make this one goofy enough. Colors are weird. Maybe it should be yellow. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe he's. Maybe he needs to be purple, because then he'll fit. Let's use the purple colors. Whoops, I gave everything a stroke. I'm actually kind of into that. Actually, actually. <laughs> uh, that's super cool. It's like the lights on it. I love it. We cracked it. That looks super dope. Should probably just give like this back part like some some highlight then I don't know, maybe we give it like something like that oh kill him oh kill him we killed it yeah but this uh, I think the other thing is that I gave these 
these wheels like the same color over here. The other ones are facing the sun and these are not. So we're gonna just dial these down. Maybe we'll even give them like, oh, I think that helps. That helps, that helps a lot. The, the wheels are too bright. Fam, I think we, I think we, we smashed it. Let's give this, let's zoom this up. Let's look at it. Oh, Mary, what's your favorite? Your favorite quote is, you're not defined by your past, the future is what make it Chris do. I don't know. All right, I lo you lost me at the end. Um, is it finished? Yeah, I think so. I don't really know what else to add to it. Could add more to it. I'm going to think about it. But right now, uh, I think it's a good stopping point because I do have uh, work that old chestnut tomorrow and uh, I think it's it's in a fun place I think it's it's now serviceable we could look at it where it was um, like this past week whenever I worked on it this is what it looked like this is where we this is where we ended last week and this is where we are today Okay, <laughs> it doesn't look like I did a lot other than I had a pizza sign in a car. But I added clouds. <laughs> I added clouds. The clouds are are what um, are what made it. And the car was not easy to draw. I mean it looks it looks like a um, like an, a car of a a billionaire with like a like one of those really really clunky cell phones from the 90s like he still uses that he drives that car and uh you know what i'm talking about big 90s ah. cell phone <laughs> i can't type uh none of these are big enough yeah this bad boy yeah the guy who talks on that phone drives this car. That's what I'm trying to say here. And, um, <laughs> it makes me laugh. It looks like someone made a limo out of a Corvette. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what was actually meaning. Like maybe this thing just needed to be huge, like just really long. That would be funny. I mean, I kind of like that it's empty, but. Yeah, maybe it does need more cars. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. Maybe we add some more cars. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, y'all. Um, Daniel, I think I'm just going to play it out with some music, if that's cool. Uh, but it was great seeing all y'all. Uh, Audrey, I hope, hope your work and school balance come together. Rat. Hope your writing stays on point and focused. Omero, I hope you get some good sleep and I hope uh, your whole life situation improves. Daniel, I hope your medical conditions feel better. And for everyone else sitting out there, I hope you have a killer week. So thanks for chilling with me. Thanks for, uh, for being so cool. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to play us out on this next song. And I hope you guys just have a good one. So y'all take it easy. Until next time. Peace.